So today's lesson is on factoring, and I like to think of factoring, or like to have you think of factoring a little bit like undistributing. So I'm going to kind of go through some of these examples and have you think of it that way. So you might remember when you distribute that you multiply the factor on the outside by each term on the inside of the parentheses or inside the quantity. So remember that we do 2 times x plus 2 times 3. And that gets us 2x plus 6. So here we have 2x plus 6. So to factor, you want to get it back to what it looked like before you distributed. So we look at 2x and 6 and we say, what factor do 2x and 6 have in common? Or in other words, what can I divide both 2x and 6 by? So I can see that 2x is divisible by 2 and 6 is divisible by 2. So their common factor is 2. And so what goes inside the quantity is the quotient, or what I get when I divide each term by 2. So 2x divided by 2 just leaves me with x, and 6 divided by 2 leaves me with 3. So 2x plus 6, when I factor it, gets me back to 2 times the quantity x plus 3. I'm going to scroll back a page and see that that's exactly what we had started with. There it is. That's exactly what we had started with. So, so that leads me back to one way you can check yourself once you've factored to see if you've done things correctly is if you redistribute, you should get the original expression. Let's try another one. So I need to find a factor that 9x and 12x have in common. And actually, I'm looking for the greatest common factor. So 9 and 12, the greatest factor I can find that 9 and 12 are both divisible by is 3. But I also see that they both have an x in common. So the greatest common factor of 9x and 12x is 3x. So I ask myself, now to find what goes inside the parentheses is 9x divided by 3x. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And x divided by x is just 1. So 3 times 1 is just 3. And 12x divided by 3x gives me 4. Because 12 divided by 3 is 1. And x divided by I'm sorry, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x divided by x is just 1, and 4 times 1 is 4. So, when I factor 9x plus 12x, I get 3x times the quantity 3 plus 4. So I told you you could check yourself. If you just redistribute, you should end up back where you started, and that's how you know you did things correctly. Let's try another one. 12 and 18y have what factor in common? Well, they're both divisible by 2. Mm, they're both divisible by 3. They're both divisible by 6. So I always want to go with the greatest common factor, so I'm going to factor out a 6. They have no variables in common, so it's all I can factor out is a 6. So I'm going to do 6 times the quantity, well 12 divided by 6 gives me 2, so that's the first that, uh, term in my quantity, and 18 divided by 6, oops, sorry, divided by 6, or 18y divided by 6 gives me 3y. So 12 plus 18y is equivalent to 6 times the quantity 2 plus 3y. Again, if you wanted to check yourself, you could redistribute and you should get what you started with. 
Okay, 21. I'm going to change the color here so you have a different color here. So bear with me a sec. Okay, so 21t and 36. Well, they have no variables in common, but I know 21 and 36 are both divisible by 3. And they're both divisible by... I think it's just three. I'm dropping my pen here. Okay, so the, I think they're both just divisible by three is the only one my brain's coming up with right now. So three times the quantity, 21 when I divide by three, 21 T when I divide by three gives me seven T. I have a subtraction in this expression, so I need a subtraction here. And 36, when I divide by 3, gives me 12. So when I factor 21t minus 36, I get 3 times the quantity, 7t minus 12. Again, I could check by redistributing and see if I get what I started with. Okay, in this example, 11x minus 3 I cannot find any factors that 11x and 3 have in common. So therefore, this one is not factorable. The only factors 11x and 3 have in common is 1. And since 1 won't do us any good, we just end up with 11x and 3 again. This guy is considered not factorable. So to review, I need to find the greatest common factor of the terms in the expression, divide each term by the common factor, and then I rewrite the expression. So the common factor, oops, I left out a word here, let's see, the common factor, it's not going to let me write, common factor, lives on the outside, and then the quotient I get when I divide the first term by the common factor, plus or minus the quotient that I get when I divide the next term by the common factor, live inside the parentheses. So don't forget to fill out your note page, and we will do plenty of practice with this in class on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you soon. Adios, amigos. Made with DoodleCast Pro.